beef. We just gotta find a recipe and go with it. Fish tacos. Eh. A serrano that's not pepper big white sauce. That's not big on tacos. Supreme of Seafood Neptune. What is it? It's a special event recipe. <laughs> this is a big event. Nah, I don't like that. The Ford family favorite soup, salads, and sandwich. Well, you don't like soup or salad or sandwiches. I do like all that. Navy bean. Okay, yeah. What no. do you what you don't like about it? Because so far we've only found things with seafood and ingredients that hey, we curry and mussoline. Mussoline. <laughs> that this we is can't a... even say it. That's, oh, paprika. Bacon and sauerkraut pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. One smoked turkey leg. Where do we get a smoked turkey leg? The store. <laughs> the the store. <laughs> All right, hey everyone. So we got this cool recipe book, Super Chefs. Found this sweet recipe. It's uh, page 46, Pennsylvania Dutch chicken pot pie soup. Sounds pretty cool. It looks tasty. Problem is, everyone's not on board. So we gotta go talk to Miles real quick. Make sure he's up for the challenge. Pennsylvania Dutch chicken pot pie soup. <laughs> that would work. All right. Okay. That's 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 an, that's an option. But I mean, do you really want to have soup tonight? How long does it take to cook? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know how to make a roux? Huh? You got to make sure you're reading these things because these these are like official culinary like cookbooks, so they're gonna use ingredients that we probably don't even know how to make, but like a roux. Where's roux? Mm. We can just YouTube it. It's roux. And add flour to make roux. You literally have to create a roux. That would be sweet. Okay. No matter what the color, let it cool slightly before adding a liquid, like stock or milk. For garlic cloves minced, teaspoon of kosher salt, teaspoon of thyme, chives, poultry seasoning, white pepper, bay leaves, and kosher salt. Looks delicious. All right, take a picture of the ingredients. Real like solid work if he wants to make something. Because uh, it's either leftovers or the, what is it, uh, Pennsylvania Dutch chicken pot pie soup. Popeye soup? Where'd that come from? We're gonna make it. Oh. You guys feel adventurous? Yeah, it? dude, we're gonna make a roux and everything. Oh. It Go requires to it. a roux. Go to it. He wants us to do it. Ooh. This? <laughs> How do you guys have this stuff? <laughs> we don't really even need to buy that much. Or Fill in the pot with 100 and what? 128 ounces. Got the Purdue chicken. That's a lot of water. Dude. That's okay. We're making we're making the juice. The chicken. Onions, taste. Do a transfer. Our pot was too small. Oh, so smooth. Okay. All right. Let's bring more. it over here. Yeah, I know. 
It's probably easier just to get fast. Get all the carrots and stuff. Okay, put it back. Uh, <clears throat> uh, seven. We can now add more water. Kind of just go ham. That's awesome. I'll show you the secret for how to go ham. This is how you go ham. Ready? So you get it all out there. Grab by this. Like this. <laughs> I'm sure there's a bunch of different techniques that are better than that. But anyway, so there is some slightly minced garlic. There's one clove. You have three left. Here goes the roux. Five minutes. Go for it. Go. I'll just mute this part of it. Okay, after simmering for 10 minutes, we are now going to add the frozen peas. The pearl onions. They're all good. And the gnocchi. As well as the remaining herbs and spices. And now simmer for 10 more minutes. So hot, dude. Well, there's a lot of soup, dude. Let's get it in there, Alex. What's this? Oh, yeah. Look at that bay leaf. Oh. Mm. Well, the cutting board. Getting nice and thick, boys. She's getting thick. Down there. Look at that. Wow, look at that. Wow. Does that have knockies in it? Oh shoot, yeah. yes it does. Cool. I just mispronounced it Ladal. <laughs> oh, I had no idea. That's a fancy kitchen term. <laughs> Gnocchi!